Good morning, welcome back to another video. Massive shout out to Milwaukee for supporting today's video. Uh, any of the tools used in today's video, please check out the links below in the description. You can check out all the tools there that we've used in the video. We're gonna go get James. First things first, we need to get the socks on show because I'm getting moaned at that I'm not showing the socks enough. So here we go. Today, we got SpongeBob helping us out. So let's go and crack on. Morning James, how are you? Morning. How did you sleep? Perfect. How did you sleep in your house? It's really nice actually. Look, James is in number three, isn't he? Warm. Number three is in. Is it warm? Yes. Oh, that's good. How do you get out? You don't. Oh you just lock in. oh you just get locked in and oh cool. <laughs> it's not really. Right, let's go and get some fuel and we'll get a coffee and then we'll go and get on with the job. Before we've done some smokes. Just said he got new smokes and we did them. Yes. I forgot. And we've done the EV charger, we've done the fuse board, didn't we? Yep, quite a lot. So today we're here to do the bathroom for them. So client wants these ones gone, a bit like a spaceship. I'm going to keep these three, fit some, fit the standard JCC um, fire guard with a IP40, IP65 bezel. That's going to go, we're going to fit a round white grill with an inline fan in the loft and then that one there we're going to convert luckily we've already got two usable switches so that one that does those little ones at the minute will do one light above there so they can come in at the night and the fan won't come on and then that one there does the fan and those three okay so that's how it's going to work uh we'll jump in the loft and uh, we'll crack on oh, next thing we're using people will ask we're using this light in the loft which is the m12 pal the M12 FID and the M12 FPD. So they're the 12 amp, the 12 um, volt, not the 18, the 12 set. That's right, James, the set. Good stuff. Yeah, um, you've got odds, that's good. You've mixed and matched. Mixed and matched, mate. Right. So we recently went camping and the kids love um, iPads, obviously. The good thing about this light is the six amp hour battery is an absolute beast and you can charge your iPads off of it, look, or your phone. That's one useful thing about this light. So, there we go, there's the light. So that's gonna give us enough light to work in here. We're gonna go and isolate, prove dead, and then we're gonna strip out all this old stuff first and then um, see what we've got in the loft. Right, we're just stripping these lights out first. Look, these, um, these are the old low voltage. I think the clients have graded them. They're never great. Yeah, I mean, one and this would come as a little kit um little plug and play kit and in the loft there'd be there'd be like one centralized transformer which we have to find and strip out the trains mm -hmm. there we go there's the plug lead look so what we're gonna have to do with these because these are like 50 mil and we need what's our whole size 70 five is it Five, we'll have to make, um, we could do the old trick of putting the whole saw inside, but what we'll do, we'll make a patris up out of ply, yeah? yeah? Oversize it and then it will stop the drip from trip. But we're gonna have to do, look, is put it right on the edge here because we've got um, a beam, yeah? Okay. So we need to be at least an inch away, so we'll come on the edge of this one and work by that way. They look pretty in line, don't they? Yeah, not bad. And then this, which is quite old school now, we like these. This is the fan inside the, the, light. the light, basically. A light and a fan built in, but that should come off that bezel. And then we should have some screws behind it, but now we get it off. Let it glue on it. Ah, oh, it's just going to come out, but there we go. Like that, that. And again, we've got a duct up there which will we'll suss out, but. This is tight as anything, there should be another transformer up there. And these are friggin' hot, look. That's all they are, little pushing. I know what they are, what are they? M 116, aren't they? Must be. Something, something stupid like that. So there's a, potentially three transformers to rip out um, and make this a bit better, look. Yeah? Yeah. Um, trust you, mate. Pretty much at the CD, I know. Yeah, can't really 
do much more. <clears throat> it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Go on. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want all the pleasure. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a pair of pliers, mate. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one we got oversized. Yeah. Yeah, pair of pliers, mate, please. Long nose. Just gotta get a bit sort of manhandle it a little bit. And that, that'll just snap off because it's going in the bin anyway. Look. There you go. The tester, mate. No. The Chester tester. Give us some screwdrivers quick, please. I'll suss out these switch lines, yeah? If he if he does if he'd done what I would do, I'd just wire a free core. A free core up here. And then you can use the um Oh look. Earth's non existent. Yeah? Earth and need not apply. Yeah, I've got a weird voicemail now. Yeah, I do mate, yeah, yeah, the Q Tech, please. Obviously they these are double insulated, but um it's nice to have a a, a, a an earth in the in the cable isn't it and then what's this this one is the oh it's this one yeah that's doing those other lights look that's the three above the in the middle they can come out so i presume i assume not presume assume the switching lives will be in the boxes and then that will be the that will go to the fan um and then it should come from here, yeah, which it does, look. Okay. So obviously the fan needs a permanent, a neutral, and a switch line, which normally is the yellow. James has got me a little tester here. I will test this. Yeah, this one's got two broken lugs on it now, so it's pretty pretty useless. You didn't break it, did you, mate? No. no. That's one weak point of these testers. Yeah, nothing, 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 and then nothing there. Cool. So we're isolated. You can go and put a lock off on that now. Yep. On the board, mate. Mm -hmm. And I'll start stripping this out in a minute, mate. Yep. If you pass me up a um a tape measure in a minute. Yeah, in a minute. We'll measure for a bit of um timber. For the fan to mount onto, yeah. And then what we'll do, we'll put it on some um, grommets or whatever, and that will stop the vibration, won't it? Oh, it's just stripping out all this old stuff at the minute. Um, in the switch, yep. Yeah. And then you should have a cable where they've just used the brown. They've cut the blue and the, the earth out. It's a white one. So what have you got in there? A three core. Really? All right. Pardon? Yeah. Okay, all right, we, we've got to suss these out then, mate. This cable here is a feed in. That cable there is a feed out to the next bedroom um, pendant or light switch, whatever. So what we're gonna have to do is connect those two there in a way go box. We're gonna clip them along and then we're gonna wire a feed out of here, along here, 
along this wood to another Wago box there, which we'll do our wire into. Um, James is just checking the original fan isolator cable, make sure it's okay, we can reuse it. Um, that will then run into the box here, give us a permanent feed and a uh, <coughs> neutral and an earth down to the fan isolator. We then have to use the existing, um, what they did was wire a three core. What do they use, James? The brown is the feed, and then they switched on black and grey. Yeah. So that's the two switch lines. So we'll say black will do the fan and the three lights in the middle, and then the grey will do the one light over the sink. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I will show it as I go, as best I can, um, so you can sort of understand what's going on. Um, but this is why you sort of get your electrics done in the bathroom, because it's one of the, you know, the worst areas for... Um, safety with electrics you get it done by a competent person yeah so we made a bit of progress look we've got a new wago box there that cable there feeds next door bedroom that's our feed in that new gray one we've added in we're going to clip it around that corner that's going to be our feed to our wago box we're then going to wire one of the existing three cores along here clip it along to the new fan which is going to go here we're going to mount it on a board stop the vibration a little bit and uh um that will connect into there We've then got to wire some lighting points along here back to the box and then we'll literally we'll end up with a junction box there with about six cables in it which will do the fan the lights it will give us a feed in and a switch line down so five five cables so but once we get a little bit more done we'll come back to you james is just next to the van he's going to cut a bit of ply and we're going to drill hole in it so we can oversize these holes in the ceiling what i've done is clip the original switch line which is a free core so the brown will be our feed down, and then we got black and grey, which we'll mark up with the brown. One will switch the fan and the free lights. One will switch the fan over the sink, uh, the light over the sink, sorry. That's a feed from the joint over there, and then that's the original fan cable going out to the fan. And then this one's from the isolator, which will connect into the new Wago box here. Then all we got to do is wire two cables out. One will go to the free spots and the fan, and uh, the free spotlight, sorry, and then the other one will go to the one spotlight over the sink. Got it, so you might as well quit. <clears throat> right, there's our ply. We'll drill in here now, and then we'll jump downstairs and show you. Look, put the wagger box in. Why two more cables out of there now? It's a lot neater and tidier, and you can actually get to it. It's up there. Got it, mate? Shank it on. There we go, superb. No problems for that drill. Right, James, that's that. You have that. And have the drill. It's going to be warm. Yeah. Put the DA, 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 DA on it, mate, please. Well, we've opened them three out with our technique, haven't we? Yeah. Right, let's have the plank <coughs> first. What we're going to do is put that one where it was, centre, yeah. Yeah, there's no timber up there, so I'm dead center of that hole. And that might, please. Now put this up there. So you need a bit of ply and an old saw. Okay. Well, I'll jump up, I'll wire them, yeah? yeah? You can second fix. Yeah. And then you can put that up, mate, that. Oh. Screw the, if you get me that grill now, what we've got, we can show it, can't we, quick? Oh, In the bag. Yeah. Remember, bag full. Bag's not full. Oh. Yeah, we've got some screws just inside the loft hatch, mate. Might as well screw it up now. Gunzo's up there as well, yeah? Yeah. Just holding a bit of ply, yeah? Yeah. Which we might have to do on this ceiling, because it's a bit... It's not fantastic, is it? What we'll do from above, we'll, we'll put some sealant, yeah? Yeah. On the... On the inside of it, yeah? And yeah. it'll go off. Pick 
covered up oh, that hole as well, mate. Look. That's good. And then you can adjust your flow like that. That's good. We'll do the obviously the official uh, paper test, yeah. Right, here we go. So, progress. Hopefully you can see what I'm looking at. Um, we've got five cables, as I said. So one and two I've marked up here. One does the single light above the um, above the sink. Two does the free spotlights. Um, it'll also be linked to the yellow here, um, which will do the fan. That will bring the fan on so with those three spots. We've wired the existing fan isolator cable round to the fan over there. We're yet to do that. We'll show you that. What we're going to do now is probably just uh, time lapse this bit and um, just connect it up. Leaving. Just got this. Alright, mate. You good? Yeah. Okay. Put some um, sleeving on these. So that's our two switch lines. One's the grey, one's the black, which is the same. Upstairs. James is the second fixing the lights. And that left was just in the back there, so what we'll do, we'll just put a little... It's officially, you need a test point on it, but even though there's no neutral here. Um, we'll just stick a wig on it. Uh, and then... If you, uh, yeah, if you lean against the ladders too much... Here it's your shins, mate. Oh, <laughs> We just fit the new click, that new click switch. So we go our one. Don't matter which one. And this is one five. It's quite a fat. It's quite a fat free core, isn't it? Actually, James. Well it's a fat free core, isn't it? It is a talky one. So I'm not doubling it up because it'd be it'd be pointless. There's enough, there's enough meat on there to. And there we go, loop the feed and then the two switch lines. Okay. Sounds good, that was pretty good. You can sit down and make them off? Yeah. That's just pure laziness, mate. That's pure efficiency. Is it? Yeah. Efficiency? Okay. I believe you. As well. <laughs> and then, what do you think I'm going to do with these little white caps, James? Glue them in, yeah. Pulled in nicely. What for these in the bin tree? What? Okay. <laughs> does look better. It does. 100% better. Well, we've checked the wire in there. Where's the earths in there, then, mate? They're just tucked in the back, are they? In the. In the. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to bring them in and put them in the way, though, yeah? Yeah. And you've done that. I've got a bit of um, plywood. With a fan. Jiggy here, look. Jiggy jiggy. Quickly. Really... Jigsaw that is an M12 JS, which is for jigsaw, I guess. And a little tip when you put your tools on in your van bolt, make sure you take the batteries out. So for this fan, yeah, 
that'll be it for now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. Bit of ply. All right, let's go. Back in the dungeon. Put that there. Okay. That goes up there. Oh yeah. What do I want? The kneeler. Definitely want the kneeler. Okay. Let's sort this cable out. Well, now he's pushed the lights up. Look. These are coverable by insulation, but if you can keep it off, it's better too. But as I said, they are coverable. All right, what I'm going to do is oops, take this bracket off of here because it ain't doing nothing. But and then that screw out there. I'll move this up in a minute. Another one around here, I suppose. There we go. Move that, because I'm going to bin. There's a wasp. There's a grill. Oh, I need to ring him to get the... I need to ring him to get the, um... My sticky stuff, don't I? Oh, come on. James, get the fire mastic, please. Right, look, this bit of wood, it's gonna go there. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna fix him down. Four of them little screws. platform for that fan now and then we get our fan there we go and what we'll do you see on the fan you've got airflow so that I'll show you what we can do in a minute. I need a PZ1, mate. Please. If we take them four screws out, we can just rotate the whole thing so we still got the clamp this side. But look, that'll pretty much go into there. But we'll have to put a little bit of flexi on it. Like that. And then we'll put some grommets. What we do is put grommets under the, each corner. Four screws as well, mate. Four grommets and um oh she got four more bit of, bit of mastic, ain't you? And some cable ties. Oh and the and the and the fan duct in. Okay. In the van. And then this little tool here is quite important. Look. Cause that you adjust this the um timer up with. Thank you. What are you getting me? What's what you get me there? Clips? Mm. I don't want clips. <laughs> Screws. Oh, vomits. I'll tell you what. He's getting good. He's getting good. Yeah, the fire splodge. We're gonna, you got that there? Top man. It's just going to help hold that grill in and also... I know it's plastic, but... There we go. Look. Around there. Do, 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 do. So what are you going to get, James? Um, ah, the duct in. That yeah, left hand side is a new box we got yesterday from Harry. Harry. Right, 
PZ one. Might as well take that off now because we're going to need it off and it's going to be somewhere to put the screws. One, two, and that draft out there that's already got a back draft vent on it, so um, it's going to stop the draft. So, fan's going to go like that, and then look, undo these like that. One, two, take them off a minute, take him out like that. Sit him over there a minute and then fix this in place. That looks good. And then what I do is put four grommets under the feet. Um, you could do it under the board, but I've found it this is just as good to stop that vibration. about that arrow look flip that that means it's gonna go that way outside put that back on doesn't matter where that sits you can put it like that if you want to easy for connections look hook these back on like that. on so that seals up the fan and then we're not gonna worry about condensation here because it's such a small one such a short run if, it, if this was like 10 meters through the loft then you'd want to put an insulated duct on it because of the condensation but there's going to be no issues here and then we need to take that out and that, remember that free core we wired in that's going to come along here and go in here take that little warning notice off we'll have a look at that in a minute poke a hole through a grommet not that it needs a grommet but we'll leave it on there and this cable James cut us mate please right let's move that a minute that's better isn't it cut the grommet open a bit that can be cut off we need half of that Right, what I'll do is put that through there first. People will say you should put flex on a fan, but where's that going to go? And I've left enough slack there to take up any vibration, so it ain't going to go nowhere. So because we're using the... Um, yellow as a switch, it's a 240 switch. We need to put a bit of brown sleeving on him. And then we'll put a bit on him. James is just sorting out them earths on that fan isolator for me. So I'll put that back in there, like that. And then put the gripper on. them so in this lid look it will tell you um, uh, we want what do we want
max. We're going max, so we want live, and then out here is our switch. Look, live will be our red. Switch line yellow, which we doubled up in the Lego box, if you remember. going to be our switch line so when you put the light on the fan will come on and that red will keep it over running for whatever time we set it to and then that's when this little tool here comes in handy because we need to adjust this little we need to adjust that little fella there for the overrun but we'll do that when it's live James I just need a, a bit of sleeving in a way go I've got a sleeve in just one way go a small one. Whichever, mate. Yeah. So look, if you look there, it's two minutes anti-clockwise. Is should be the lowest setting. So two minutes. Maybe we'll set it for like five minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Where are they at? They're just behind the wall, right? Pardon? Yeah. yeah. I think they're behind, yeah, they, if you look where they've, if you look at the fan isolator, pull the cables out, you'll see the earth. They've just sort of um, tucked them behind. Right, that's the fan connected, mate. We'll leave the cover off. Yeah. I'll get on with the duct in, and then we'll come down and have a look, yeah? Right, there we go. Fan's connected in. I've cable tied it. You could tape it, but I've never had any leakages. Um, and all this all this says is two speeds in case of wrong connection the hardware breaks down connection scheme is under the cover or in the passport so yeah it's been converted into english um um james is just sorting that earth out and we're gonna power up in a minute do a bit of testing and then get this um get this fan speed set up Yeah, mate. Thank you. Right, go for it. Should be ready to rock and roll, mate. Right, do one. Do one. So there's there's the one light on his own. Yeah, off. That one off, and then fan isolator on. There's the fan. What I might do is um. A little knot in there, look. That one. Let's get up a bit. And what we do is get there, James. The official. Look at that. Brilliant. Beautiful. So, we've got a bit of a clean up to do, haven't we? Yeah. And then we'll. Um, Set the time on that fan, yeah? Switch the lights off that control the fan, switch line. Put the phone on and listen for the fan, basically, when it goes off. And then if we need to increase it, we'll turn the switch up a bit. But I think it should go for about two minutes and then um, we'll increase it a little bit, I think. Right, all I'm gonna do is adjust that fan up a little bit. I left all the bits up here for it, look. Adjust him up. Look at that. A little bit. That's it. Now I'll put that in there. Put them on. Like that. And then we're out of here. Okay, so take all my bits, take the rubbish, and then we'll go and see 
James. 